hi guys uh, now we are going to talk about uh, inter vlan routing so inter vlan routing uh, we will be doing on uh, l2 environment layer 2 environment so layer 2 environment when we will be doing it is called a router on stick and then we'll be doing an L3 environment means where we'll be having L3 switches and uh, we will do inter -VLAN routing there so now uh, try to understand a diagram first so how it is so we will do both okay before that we are explaining now if you see it here right now see you have uh, one switch here you have one switch here this switch once you'll be having switch here now imagine uh, this is your uh, switch one this is switch two now over here you will be having VLAN 10 VLAN 10 and this one having a um, VLAN 20 alright these are the two VLANs in two switch alright so now some of the systems are also connected here so over here you will be having some system like you know this is one system this is one system and uh, we have two more system here now all of them are connected to so this is uh, connected to this this is also this one also connected now from here this switch to connected to this switch via another switch it's in middle you will be having another switch and from there you are connected to this switch now this is villain 1 this is villain 20 and villain 20 now if you have some IP address here suppose uh, this uh, PC having IP is at VLAN 10 so we have said 10 dot uh, 10 dot 10 dot 2 subnet mask is uh, 255 255 255 0 then 10 dot 10 dot 10 dot 1 uh, then you will be coming to that another PC that IP address is 10 dot now 10 dot uh, 10 dot 3 subnet mask is 255 255 255 0 10 dot 10 dot 10 dot 1 all right that is the gateway now uh, this is VLAN 20 we have set that IP address 20 dot uh, 20 dot 20 dot 2 subnet mask is 255 255 255 0 gateway is 20 dot 20 dot 20 dot 1 now in this switch will be sorry in this PC uh, we have uh, IP address 20 dot 20 dot 20 dot mm, let's say 3 and uh, 255 255 255 0 and now uh, you can go here 20 dot 20 dot 20 dot 1 that is the gateway so this is your uh, uh, PC 1 this is uh, and this is your PC 2 
here uh, this one is your PC one for VLAN one and this is uh, your uh, PC now you will be having PC 2 alright now this is your uh, uh, switch 3 so now let me show you up the lab and uh, later on we will be adding on router here you will be adding uh, router here ok and you, one stick will be uh, connected to it like this and that will be helping you to do the routing alright so we will show you that how we are uh, deploying this ok this is the router fine so now we are going to do router on stick first ok so let's have a look we could do uh, this lab with the help of uh, this uh, Eve also also we can do with uh, the uh, packet tracer also so uh, some of the guys maybe uh, still you are using packet tracer or maybe your system is not supporting uh, some other version or maybe uh, your system doesn't support virtualization so you are not able to enable or maybe you will be having some RAM or processor related issues so you are still with that uh, packet tracer so okay fine for those guys I will uh, go uh, show this in that packet tracer uh, on router on stick and then another one in terms of routing with the L3 uh, switch we will be showing in this if so uh, I have a packet tracer here please have a look here now we will be creating that environment there and then we will be doing the configuration so uh, you just see the configuration let's say let's say this is the switch now this is one switch this is another switch now you will be having PC this is your PC this is your PC and this is PC one another one is so this all PC you have now we are connecting with the cables right we have connected we have connected we have connected to this we have connected to this now we connected to this switch then we have connected with this switch and now they are having a router in between see in order to perform this particular lab we will be uh, using some uh, you know process some uh, you know something we will follow so let me show you first what we will create first we will uh, create VLAN create VLANs alright so once you'll be creating VLAN so how many VLAN is here so this is your VLAN 10 and this is your VLAN mm, VLAN 20 alright and this series this side IP that you have I mean network 10.10.10.10.10.10 10 dot 10 dot 10 dot 0 slash 24 
and this VLAN 20 you have 20.20.20.0 20 slash 24 fine now first what you will do you will create that VLAN in the switch so you will go into the switch follow me guys so you will be going to the switch then you will click on CLI then you will be come up here you will type here ENCONFT now let's say VLAN 10 you will give your name let's say IT and uh, then no shot ok is not required uh, you can uh, give that IT that's all so by mistake I have put a no shot ok uh, if you want to run that no shot so you have to go like this interface VLAN 10 and then you can put that no shirt anyways now uh, we have created that VLAN here so you can see here this is the command that we have uh, set now ok so what is the command do show history uh, we have given the command interface Uh, you know you will go to that VLAN 10 and name IT so go here to create VLAN uh, you have given this command right B VLAN 10 name IT so guys uh, you also you will create that VLAN in uh, this switch also EN CONFT now VLAN 20 name finance done so we have uh, uh, configured that the VLAN here VLAN 20 now you can see this all mean VLAN 10 and VLAN 20 we just created there is no uh, interface added right you can see here so VLAN brief now if you check it here VLAN 20 has been created but there is no interface now you go here the same uh, so VLAN brief you can see there is no interface here can you see that so how we will be adding interface to the VLAN CNFT you'll go interface range first ethernet mm, first ethernet starting from which port uh, 0 by 1 to 0 by 3 uh, first ethernet 0 by 1 space and 3 so now switch port access VLAN 10 now you check all that interface added to VLAN 10 show VLAN brief you can see here in VLAN 10 these three interfaces are added you can see all of them are adding now so the first task what we have done we have created that VLAN and uh, first step uh, we have created the VLAN and add the interface to the VLAN that is the first step second step second step will be uh, you know create a trunk port that we will be doing just hold on now you will be going here and we will add the interface the same way interface range first ethernet uh, 0 by 1 to uh, 3 switch port access VLAN 20 now you can see all that interface show VLAN brief you can see all that interface you can see all the interface has added to port number 0 by 3 
ओके नाउ यू कैन सी दिस इंटरफेस ओके दिस इंटरफेस जीरो बाई यू नो टू एंड दिस इंटरफेस इज जीरो बाई वन और राइट सो व्हाट यू विल डू यू विल गो हियर एन एन सी ओ एन एफ टी लाइक वील एन टेन एंड देन वील एन ट्वेंटी यू टू सी दैट डू शो वील एन ब्रीफ so you can see villain 10 and villain 20 has been created now if you see villain 10 is this side right i mean left hand side so you want to uh, that interface is interface first ethernet 0 by 1 so you go here interface fa 0 by 1 now switch port access villain 10 fine now uh the other port interface first ethernet 0 by 2 switch port access vlan 20 now go here show vlan brief now if you go here show vlan brief you can see vlan 10 is that interface 1 and vlan 2 interface uh vlan 20 interface 2 clear so we have a uh, second what all we have created in the middle switch we have uh, create uh, vlan 10 and 20 and we have uh, uh, set the you know we have set uh, interface to that vlan okay that's okay now what you will be doing you will be going to the router you will go to the router now you will type no you will type en cnft interface first ethernet 0 uh, by 0 no shutdown no ip address so we have made that interface up but we have not set any ip address on this why because if you see there is a two different vlan this is vlan 10 and vlan 20 and we want that you know this router will be communicating both the uh, you know uh, vlans so if you send some packet suppose from here to here there is no inter uh, you know ip so it will not communicate let me set that ip address first you will be going to the desktop click on ip and then 20.20.20.2 mm let's say 23 and then sub mask is uh, 255255250 and then 20.20.20.1 that's the ip address we have set here now you will be going here you will go to the desktop ip we'll set that ip address 22 mm you can put 255255255 Zero. Then twenty dot twenty dot twenty dot one. That's the gateway. Now, if you send some packet from here to here, see you. It is successful. Now, if you want to uh, capture the packet and see how it is going, you uh, you click on this mode. This is called real time mode, and this is this is real time. This is simulation. So we enable the simulation mode, and then you take a packet. Click here. Click here. Okay, got it. Now you can go capture and play. Once you click it, the it it came to the switch. Once you just double click on that, you can see that layer, uh, you know, uh, source to destination. So uh, add add device destination device. So from where it is coming, 
and where it is going so if you see all that OSI layer there are seven layers we have IP address IP address works on the layer 3 layer 2 works the MAC address and it is in your Ethernet now if you see what is happening here now first it came to this and then it's it's supposed to go here in the destination so in between what is happening the first time switch do flood so it's sending all that interface here so that's what it went all that uh, you know interfaces like three interfaces are there all the three interfaces it send the information all right now if you send that packet again and then uh, you forward now it will be coming and it will be successful now it will be showing successful here just have a look now can you see that it's successful now you open the packet now you see uh, from where it is sent and it came there now PDU details this is that protocol data unit can you see that the preamble this is our destination Mac this is Ethernet 2 frame okay now you can see is a type now frame check sequence you can see it's a IPv4 then internet uh, uh, header length then DSCP then this is your source IP from where it is going and destination IP okay you can see from where we have sent here and what is the IP address 22 and destination IP so this is what exactly it works but it cannot go into the router why because you know uh, the this switch won't be able to do routing that's why we are doing intervillian routing anyways now you will be we are inside the okay let me set that IP address this side let's say we'll set IP address here 10.10.10.2 uh, now uh, 255 255 255 0 10.10.10.1 so we'll go another one uh, uh, this is 10.3 255 255 255 0 10.10.10.1 now if you send that packet from here to here it will be successful if you see from here to here it successful but just because it's a different VLAN see it's a VLAN 10 and this is VLAN 20 it if you send the packet it won't go it will be failed you see so we want to make communication between this like you know this with this right guys so our main intention is to let's say uh, from this particular VLAN to this particular VLAN we want to make a communication so that is our intention okay so we was there in the router so we have given some command like uh, no shutdown no IP address so what we are going to create now sub interfaces so you see guys how you are creating sub interface interface first ethernet 0 by 0 dot 1 then you give uh, no shutdown and you can give IP address and also you can uh, okay you can set that IP address uh, let's say 10 dot uh, 10 dot 10 dot 1 and 255 dot 255 dot 255 dot 0 encapsulation dot 1 q let's say VLAN 10 IP address 10.10.10.1255 10 10 10 
and then no shutdown okay now you will be creating uh, another interface sub interface you can see we are inside the sub interface that's why it is showing sub if now you will be going another uh, you just exit from there now interface uh, first ethernet 0 by 0 dot 2 okay now encapsulation dot 1q vlan 20 now ip address uh, 20.20.20.1 255 255 255 0 and no shutdown so do show history if you do so you can see here we have done that interface uh, for uh, two sub interface we have created if you want to see show IP interface brief you can see two sub interface we have created inter sub interface 0 by 0 by 0 dot 1 and then sub interface 0 by 0 by dot 2 all right now you can see both the interface are up right now both of the interface are up and running now we have done the configuration with the switch uh, sorry router configuration now can you see that in this switch try to understand where this middle switch who having information about VLAN 10 also having information about VLAN 20 so this interface if this interface 0 by 3 which is connected to the router if you want to uh, take the information of both the switch we have to make this interface trunk trunk port so if you want to know more details about trunk uh, in my website I have wrote already networkred.net you can have a look there so this is switch interface first ethernet 0 by 3 you can see here this is 0 by 3 now you can give that command uh, switch port mode trunk once you'll be giving this command switch port mode trunk so immediately it will be amber wait for 50 seconds so it will be come in green and then we will be able to uh, send the packet just hold on for a moment in between I want to show you something if you see here uh, this IP address is showing 10.10.10.2 uh, slash 24 slash 24 means we have subnetted uh, this IP okay now you can see here there is also sub interfaces are there 0 by 0 dot 1 this is the main interface that is 0 by 0 okay now see the interface is green now we will be going here command prompt and we will be pinging the gateway 20 dot 20 dot 20 dot 1 can you see that it's replying even if you want to ping 10 dot 10 dot 10 dot 1 still it will reply got it now if you go here in uh, command prompt and if you ping 20.20.20.1 uh, uh, that is the gateway you see you are getting reply even if you ping from there 10.10.10.1 so that's all replying so 10 and 20 you can see here 10 and 20 is the gateway isn't it we have assigned here 10 and 20 this is the 10 and this is the uh, 20 that is the gateway make sense now I will take you to this now we just have a look if you click one packet from here to here so first it will be going to the router you just have a look first it will be going to the router and then you will come back and then we will be sending to the another switch now you see it will be not going to the other hand of this view. see it will be going there if you open the packet here you see what all information are here source source port is your PC2 destination is PC1 I am sending here now at device right now where it is it's a router 0 now you see this is the way it is going and this is the way it is going check it okay got it guys 
now initially it was not pinging we have then we have done it so in this entire process what we have done first we have created VLAN we have joined to that VLAN second we have created a uh, trunk port here then we have created sub interfaces there so that's all about you know uh, your router on stick make sense from here if you want to ping that also you can ping you can ping let's say 10.10.10.2 so you are getting reply now if you are pinging 20.20.20.1 uh, it's pinging 20.22 you should get reply yes uh, 23 reply so because this IP is uh, 22 if you see here it's a 22 and this one is 23 so this is how you can make uh, communication between uh, different VLAN with the help of a router on stick. So over here I have brought some command uh, like uh, while we am creating sub interface so 0 by 0 dot 1. So that is that sub interface. Okay guys. You can see once we are uh, there inside sub interface 0 by 0 dot 2. So you will be inside the sub interface. All right, guys. Thank you. Now, next video will be coming uh, with this layer three with interval and routing. All right, thank you.